Hey, you Blue Table fans. I'm here early on a Saturday morning uh, just getting projects set up. In fact, uh, this is uh, a couple that I'm getting into the art department. This is a uh, Chaos Demons project that I've got cracking. AGRE is the, uh, is the client for that. Watching some Doctor Who. Also, um, Guy, uh, what else? Um, got um, this Alpha Legion project. We did some... Uh, some fun little uh, freehand on the back there, just, uh, just as a bonus. Also, uh, check out this board. This is a Realm of Battle uh, board by Games Workshop. So um, this is an example of uh, the different types of projects that we can do. We love to do these. Uh, this is an eight-footer, which is fantastic. Makes me absolutely happy. Um, yeah, in fact, I'd love... <laughs> I'd love to play a, a game of Warhammer Fantasy on this. Got my uh, Skaven army here. This is a project that we did. Look at all those clan rats. 250, by the way, all on magnetized movement trays. This is the uh, leftovers from our Pathfinder game. I'm running uh, Shattered Star. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Got uh, some really good players for that. All right, got some uh, new trades in. Uh, some Dark Eldar. These are, uh, some of these are conversions from before the new models came out, like this. This is how you got a Kronos or Talos. Uh, or where is it? No, that, that has some of the current stuff on it. Uh, oh, no, 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 that, that, that's based off of a War Machine jack. In fact, that would make a great Krikes jack. Scourges, uh, again, uh, conversions for those. These are not painted by us, but this is some, these are, this is a, amazing Dark Angels Command with, I think it is Cyborg stuff on it. Um, some BTP painted stuff, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, looks like some Malifaux, some painted orcs, a ton of orcs. Um, and then uh, the Space Marines got some Forge World stuff uh, mixed in there. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it. We are, uh, as far as I know, we're caught up on uh, other than a few items, we're caught up on posting things for trade stock. It's usually 20 to 40 listings per day. Also, uh, on emails, if you want to contact a store at bluetablepainting.com, you have some stuff to trade in. Uh, we are more than ready to, to get that going. Um, what else? Uh, this coming week, our inquiries guy, Steve, is uh, out for the holidays, but I am in. So uh, anybody that wants to set up a project, let's get going at projects at bluetablepainting.com. All right, so it's lunchtime. Whoosh, got some fries, some greasy, greasy fries from a local burger joint. These are so good. Um, I heard they have this on the, on the East Coast, too. It's called fry sauce. Definitely a Utah thing. It's uh, ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. Yum. Oh, and another part of this balanced breakfast, two big hunks and a Snickers. Mm. They've got peanuts in them, so they're healthy. So uh, Tanya's here too. Say hi, Tanya. Hello there. Awesome. What you working on? I am working on some Demons of Core. Here's some right. blood letters. Awesome. And some skull cannons. Nice. And some nice, All right. nice creepy looking lava. Thanks. Hey, Ren, how's it going? Hey, what's up? So you're here on Saturday, too. I am here on Saturday. Getting stuff done. Yep, yep. What you working on? So I'm uh, working on this Lysian army. Okay. And uh, I've got the fun stuff right here so far. Okay, yeah, you got, got the, you got all the tanks, and poor Mason had to do all the infantry. <laughs> I hope you're satisfied with poor yourself. Poor Mason. No, actually, yeah. thanks for coming. Oh, so you handmade like a zillion missiles, right? Yeah. So there's 18 types of different weapons. Um, there's... Yeah. Um, there's the hunter killer missiles, which are the okay. thinner missiles, um, right. and then we got the heavy bombs, which are these ones. Okay, awesome. These are all made out of plastic tubing and various other materials. We got some rocket pods. Okay, um, awesome. Some missile launchers. So this client has three vultures, then. Yeah. Which are like gunships, right? Yeah. Which, let's and they deliver something. Is that aren't these like clamps underneath? Uh, no. No. No, this isn't. The, they have another one that does that. That's awesome. Which oh, so you out. made you made custom yeah. auto cannons yep. for them. Which basically, I have a housing. Oh, okay, got there. it. For those and ones. so it becomes different weapons. Yeah. Then you put on like the bombs, because you want basically every option for a vulture gunship. For everything. Yeah. Which they do not come with. 
No. So you no, handmade was, everything. With, like any of them. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I didn't have any weapons at all. Well, that's pretty cool. And you're doing LEDs in uh, something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, so tell us do, about the challenge, what the client wants, and what the challenges are. So I had to do the three, I have to do three Valkyries. And you know, in World War II planes, how they have the red light in the interior of the plane. And it turns green when the, when the uh, parachuters are supposed to jump out. Paratroopers. Paratroopers. So, um... You're welcome, nerds, who would have noticed that. I don't know, is parachuters a thing, too? Sounds right. Paratroopers. Go ahead. So, um... The, th the problem that I was having with it was because he wants he wants it to where it switches. The LED can switch between a red light and a green light. He wants so when to you turn flick green, the little the guys jump out. So we got the like the power play LED kits, which are freaking awesome. I love them very much. That's but powered play. Yeah, yeah. Powered no, play. I, I I know I I know exactly what it is. I just want to make sure people know it's powered with a D. Yeah. Play, in case you want to look that up. Right. They were at Adepticon last year. Okay, go ahead. So what's I've next? Got, I've got a kit somewhere. All right. right I don't know. No, it's right here. Okay. So, so this is what they game. sell. This right. is what they sell. This this set is amazing if you want an LED anything. I okay, highly great. recommend it. And they do all the PCB board. They do all that, mm -hmm. like pre-wiring and stuff for you. Nice. But as you can see, I only have one switch here. Which, basically, it's, it's a closed circuit. All that switch does is break the circuit, turn lights on and off. Right. I don't have a switch or anything like that that can switch between right. one color and another one. Mm -hmm. So, and without rewiring everything and doing all this work and stuff, I'm, basically, I'm going to put the lights in it, and I'm going to make a little panel that when he wants to switch the colors, he's going to switch. He's basically going to cover up one of the lights. So they're, they're going to always be on. They're like both we'll red and green will be on. Yeah. yeah. Just that one of them will be covered. Yes. Depending on what it is. will work really well. All right. Yeah, I'm I feeling just, it. All right. Sa sounds sounds good, Rin. Yeah. Well, folks, that's all I got for you on a Saturday. Friday was insane, so I just did not get any videos up. I have about an hour more of the D&D game, uh, but I had to shoot it with the HD camera, and it takes forever to process. It's kind of an overnight thing, and uh, it tends to make my computer shut off with uh, overheating. So, um, so anyway, um, this, um, yeah, always, always something new to see. Birthday to you. Happy birthday.